Hi, I'm Isla and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Laura Ashley Guide to Country Decorating. This is part of a series of videos where I discuss the books in my own collection that inspire my own designs as a designer. And if you enjoy the video, please think about hitting the like and subscribe button. It helps other people find my channel. So you'll have to forgive the plethora of post-it notes. It's a big book and there's lots to get through. So without further ado, I'll just get started. My lovely friend Martin actually gave me this book and I really enjoy it. I haven't really read it from cover to cover. It's more something I look through the images for inspiration. But uh, this is one of the chapters I return to a lot. It's called Sunny Swedish Style. I am a big fan of Carl Larsson's illustrations of what it was like to live in sort of the 1890s in Sweden and I really enjoy Swedish style anyway I'm very drawn to the colours and the fabrics so I love this this image the start of the book uh, shows lots of different styles of sort of room sets um, in the country house theme there are a few things that um, surprisingly I don't like and this is actually one of them but I quite like that it's a bit hit and miss it's not a sort of perfect perfect book for me um, moving swiftly on this is a sitting room that I really love I think the wallpaper works so beautifully with that sort of the beams for a very kind of cozy feel this is probably one of the standout images for me. I think I constantly fantasise about having a house in France and this is how I would probably decorate it. Uh, for me, the wicker with the matching sort of small scale wallpaper is just so warm with the terracotta. It's just perfection. I love it. Ooh. I've been looking at a lot of cottages. I eventually want to move, maybe not for a while, but I always have this reference because it's a very uh, clever way, I think, of dealing with quite small, deep windows. So they've got the curtains on um, pivoting curtain hooks so that you can have them closed or folded out to kind of maximise the light. So I think that's a really clever idea. This image I love because they use a quilt instead of curtains and I think that's so clever and it's hung up on little metal hooks it's quite a nice contrast between the quilt and the metal and it's really practical and warm as well so I love that image this kitchen is just heaven I think I previously mentioned that I'm not a fan of um, fitted kitchens I love the plate rack love the sort of Victorian breadboard Again, that's just kitchen heaven for me. Um, this image, I couldn't not show you. It's probably hard to see on camera, but I'm I'm a huge cat fan, cat lover. So I just love the little cats in the kitchen. It's always, everything they did was so thoughtfully styled. This is I, a kitchen that always really intrigues me. And I think it's just... I'm drawn to it partly because I love Delft tiles and it's so clever because they're not real tiles. It's actually uh, Delft tile printed paper. I don't know where you get that from, but if somebody knows, please let me know in the comments section. Stuck to the wall and varnished. So it's quite a sort of low cost way of making a kitchen beautiful. This is one of my favourite pages. I'm always drawn to the colour yellow. I've got it a lot in my sitting room and I think it works really well paired with brown furniture, which is another thing that I have a lot, lot of. And of course, I love the candy stripe. Huge in the 90s. I should say that actually this book was published in 1992. So that's often a period that, of time that I'm really interested in aesthetically. A lot of my books come from that kind of early 90s time. This, just look at that tiny frill on the sofa. Just enough. It's just, it's not too much. It's just perfect. Bedrooms, these bedrooms are beautiful. I love the window treatment here. 
bathroom. I think this is such a clever idea here, just the use of these stenciled motifs in what could be quite a difficult bathroom, I think, to deal with because you're contending with the sort of um, wooden beams structure of the house. I think that's very clever and it's very effective. Love the candy stripes. A garden room. Wouldn't that be heaven to sit there reading your book in the warmth? Just gorgeous. This comes on to more of the sort of practical side of the book where they discuss, um, you know, how you can get the effect. They're not hugely um, lengthy step-by-step -step instructions. I don't think you'd be able to sort of manage faux marbling, but my God, this is completely something I would love to do. Um, I'm definitely going to attempt that one day. So beautiful. Uh, stenciling. I love stenciling. I cannot believe I've not tried it yet. So I'm going to have to try it. Stenciling is coming back for sure. This is very clever because it's an ordinary pine floor and they've actually made it um, through different coloured stains look like sort of inlay. They also show you how to lay down this tile floor uh, with a kind of crackle glaze over the top. I think that's beautiful. Here, I've actually ref um, reviewed a few other old vintage Thor Ashi catalogues and I think I mentioned before how many different types of fabric they had in the business and how rare that is to find these days. Um, so you've got everything here from kind of plastic coated fabrics to chintz to whirl. So nice to have that breadth. Here we move on to the more kind of accessories, um, accessories to make your house look country style. So obviously I love the fruit in the bowl, love the little sort of dried berries in a ring, a wreath, I should say. Very pretty sort of styling ideas. Oh, look at that with the hydrangeas. I actually love the ornamental squashes. I think you can varnish those. I went to a friend's house years ago and her parents had varnished them and they looked just, just heavenly. This is an image I, I think this is what, again, another favorite image from the book I returned to again. I love hyacinths, especially at that sort of time just after Christmas when you need to bring that kind of light into the house. I love these kind of Victorian hyacinth glasses. And this I really enjoy as well. I'm quite a big fan of bringing, um, cut things from the garden into the house rather than just you know just cut flowers all the time uh if i had to show this because if you didn't have a dusty bowl of potpourri potpourri i should say hanging around your house in the 90s slash 80s then what were you doing my mother still has lots of bowls of them she loves them uh this appeals to my definite sort of designer controlling, <laughs> organising and arranging um, nature. I just adore the antique blown eggs. And this I thought was really clever. I think it's bay leaves sort of dried in a ring around the frames. So love that. And then the final image is just one how you can make your outdoors look just as beautiful. I'm actually in the process of tidying up my parents' greenhouse. It's not as beautiful as this, but I just sort of love this stack of pots. It's just dreamy. So there we go. Let me know um, what you think of this book. I definitely return to it time and time again and find it very inspirational. So let me know in the comments. See you next time.